I've known Yancey since he first showed up in Cocoa Beach. Uh, the heavy break back in the day used to be uh, Cocoa Beach Pier, and uh, Yancey came down, got right in the lineup with the heavies there, and fit right in. And, and I was originally from uh, uh, Tampa, St. Pete area, so I was a golf guy, so I was always stoked to see Yancey do as well as he did in anything, because it, it was golf guys. Fantastic. I think it was great that the family got to just uh, not have definitive speeches, just got up there and let it go and let it rip and let their, let their soul speak. Hey, today was a great day. Remember my mentor and good buddy, and we're going to miss him, but we're going to get to surf again one day. Uh, can't put it into words. I can tell you that's one of the most amazing services I've ever seen. Strong family. <laughs> Tons of friends. I can tell how many people really cared for him. Uh, much respect. it would be greatly missed. Admire the way he lived his life, the way he conducted okay. himself. And we'll come by. It's cool because Bob Roman over here, he, uh, when Bob was the only guy riding tri in the uh, pro area, other than maybe Simon Anderson, and uh, Yancey did a whole article on it. Surfing magazine, he wrote it himself about Bob riding trifins and how Bob was ahead of everybody. So it just shows where Yancey always was. Yancey was on the cutting edge of surfing. Uh, it was said numerous times, and I think it was, it, it almost sounds heartless in a bit, but, and, and I'm not saying this for the family, but as a surfer, to, to uh, check out really quick on a day surfing is a lot better than suffering and going through a whole bunch of painful old age stuff, which I'm going through. No, so it's great to see, uh, it's not great to see Yancey gone, but it's, uh, God bless him that he uh, could get up, you know, it was nice and quick and sweet, and he has so much love.